two minutes until showtime. One minute until showtime. Your show will go live in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Last radio. I got a biscuit away or something, man. Man, I had to let my dog in. It's already a hundred degrees up here, man. Sit. Good girl. Uh, shit. You know, I just I was thinking about what I was gonna talk about today, and then it came to me. There's so many levels to this shit, but you got basic, mid range, and then senior if that's the case. Otherwise, like school, elementary school, junior high. Well, you don't even have junior high anymore, huh? Anyway, elementary school, junior high, and senior high. Those are kind of what I'm going to uh, talk about today. See, there's hell of things a real motherfucker should know. But one of the most important things that you should know is how to fish. Now, of course, I'm using the word fish as a euphemism. It's about how, how you need to know how to feed your motherfucking self. I'm talking about if you out there. 901, I seen you pop up. What's up, bro? Yeah, what's going on with the bug? Good morning to you, man. Good morning to you, too, brother. What's up? Man, I was going to ask man, your elementary uh, did you ever meet a crowd that was too big for your campaign? Something that you had to grow into? Hell no. Nah. No, nah, I didn't met a bitch. Okay, so. I didn't met a bitch that was already in pocket, had some paper, doing her thing. The, the average motherfucker would think that she was out of your out of his range, but that bitch was in my range because just because she had it already didn't mean I couldn't charge her. That's what it's a, that's what it's about, ain't it? When you when you that's meet exactly about. when you meet a bitch that, that that got it and she about it, she wanna make sure you about it. And if she see you are, she don't give a fuck that she got it and you don't have it because she finna make you have it. That's the purpose of having game. Every bitch you meet ain't gonna be broke, stinking, and hungry. 
<laughs> you're gonna meet some bitches that's totally in pocket <clears throat> and they they want what they want and if they want you they gonna pay you period hold on man i got another cat five six one what's up That's right. What's happening? Hey, um, I just got a question. I don't know if it's the right time or the wrong time to ask you. They don't in the show. Can you talk about what a typical day will be at SWU? Um, Can I talk about what? Could you talk, um, explain like what a typical day will be? As far as the, um, like, I don't know if I'm saying it right. Like a typical day. Yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, hey, bro. Everything is online. So get everything you got in your mind out because there is no typical day because you might be there today as far as in group and somebody else might not. So what I'm saying, as long as you're there Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 6 o'clock, then you're going to get what you're supposed to get. But other than that, the whole week, the school is jumping off with things to do. All right. All right. All right. Be I'm cool. Carry on. I'm carry on to this good stuff. All right, brother. Be cool. See you guys. I love this because you really want to know. I'm gonna tell you. But check game. You gotta understand that if if you don't have the proper conversation, you'll never catch a motherfucking bitch who's showing a little resistance. Or, like this brother just asked, a bitch is already in pocket. Because you don't know what to do, and you don't have, if you did, you, you don't have the confidence to do it. None of what you learned, or, or, or none of you really have learned to put a conversation down properly. If you don't have the confidence that it takes, to make your conversation work, you're gonna sound fake. And that bitch gonna hear it. Now you may be brave enough to start some shit off, but your conversation's gonna fall off and you're gonna let her get away. And, and, and believe it or not, there is an art to this, and I teach it. Now, bro, you was asking me about a typical day at uh, Sidewalk University. It's three months. And hold on. 214, what's up? Hey, what up, boy? Yeah, I got you. What's happening? Hey, it's Rashetti. Rashetti, what's happening, man? she gonna be fucked up when she leave your presence because she gonna miss your ass hey hey fellas you listening to a confident graduate of that goddamn sw nigga then took his shit all the way went got chose not by no bitch but by a fucking university to do some shit man that's for shady baby <laughs> hey man i got you i got some special packs for you man you told me what you wanted, I got some packs. Just hit me. All right, for sure. 925, what's happening? That's cool. What's happening? You got a question? Whenever I go about something, it's physical. You remember that? 
Yeah. I don't actually remember that, but I know I say shit like that. By coming to SWU and, and see, uh, but, but I need a lot, but I need a lot. Okay, hey, hey, bro, 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 bro. I don't want to hear your particular problem, especially if you know what it is. Because what I'm saying is, if you know what it is and you don't want to handle it, I can't talk you into it. I don't want to talk you into it, bro, 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 bro. bro. Wake up, man, and quit fucking being sleep. It is a pro- it is a problem, or you wouldn't have brought it up. Everybody want to get better, man, but all the motherfuckers that want to get better for free, all the motherfuckers that won't don't want to stand up to whatever it takes to getting better. I'll be seeing you next yeah. year or the year after that. Because you're just going to keep doing the same shit over and over and over, talking about you want to get better. If you want to get better, you better do something to get better. Now, I'm done with this. Yeah. For sure. Now, bro, I'm back to you, bro, that I was talking to about when you asked me about a typical day at SWU. The first month at SWU is like elementary school. And, and you're going to learn all the basics. But the first week, first two weeks, is spent dealing with people like that brother that just called in. They don't know they lying. He don't know he lying to his goddamn self. He thinks he's saying what he is. But I've been doing this. I've been doing Sidewalk University for many years, six. So what I'm saying is I see semester after semester motherfuckers saying that same shit and I give them a goddamn assignment to do. And the motherfucker can't do it. Some of them quit. Shit. Don't tell me you can do it. Like I say, I teach you all the basics. The first and foremost thing is to stop lying to your motherfucking self. And there's a way to learn how to stop lying to yourself. You can tell yourself right now, well, man, I ain't lying to myself no more. And that's cool. And if you don't, I'm glad for you. But I bet you don't do it. So what I'm saying is the second month is like junior high school where you learn where and how to use that shit you learned in the first month. And then the last month, which is that's where I'm at right now as far as in reality. I'm in the last month of this semester because uh, uh, July 1st is the new semester. But anyway, the last month you get to fucking learn how to own the shit that you learn. You learn how to make that shit yours. You, you learn how to do it different ways but always stand within the system. So in everything I'm saying, you learn it because we, excuse me, because I have an action-based school. I don't sit up and tell you shit. I give you shit to do. Then take your ass out and do it. That's what you got to do. And the average motherfucker can't stand up to that. They think they can. Then, yeah, I'm ready. Uh-huh. Bring your ass on the SWU, and I'm going to break your motherfucking ass down so you can see you full of shit, and then you can start learning. Because as long as you're full of shit, what the fuck do I want to fuck with you for? Plus, you ain't going to do nothing but deny everything I'm telling you. So, it's up to you. Sidewalk University is pure dope. And the way you show that you learn the shit, the way you own the shit, is you take your ass outside and do it. Record what you're doing 
so I can hear it. I don't want to hear you explain to me shit. Now, I do this, and this is how you going to do it if you want to do it. Because you ain't hardly finna tell me shit about doing it. Now, wouldn't it be just really and truly, wouldn't it be a great thing if I was able to like start like an elementary school like I'm doing this? No, I wouldn't be teaching the same thing, but I would be teaching responsibility and I would be teaching at the level they are third graders, let's say what they could do to be responsible. I would insist on them remembering what to do inside the classroom the way I want it done. But what I'm saying is all of that would be giving them a foundation so that they can grow, period. If you can't follow instructions and you don't understand authority, your motherfucking ass ain't going nowhere but to jail. So what I'm saying is even if it was some kind of after school program where a motherfucker tutored uh students and shit in my hood that would even be cool uh five six one what's up what's up big dog all right ain't nothing man what's happening with you hey shit man look i got a question for you big one i have a quick game man come on i got a question bro has your ego has your ego ever uh allowed you you was mentioned with a uh, chick or whatever in the game or something outside of it. Has your ego has ever allowed you to uh, pretty much like uh, cut your losses even though you better? Cut my losses? What you mean? Stop fucking with the bitch? Yeah. Just because I'll, do, I'll do that now. I've always done that, man. If it ain't right, I ain't fucking with you. If you just want me to fuck you, bitch, please, I ain't getting your pussy. I'm getting something from you. Period, man. And if you can't cut your losses, you can't be a real monster. Because you're going to think about it, man. You're riding down the street. You're in a Rolls Royce. You got a gang of jewelry on. you handsome as a motherfucker. It's going to be hella bitches trying to give you some pussy. I'm saying if that's all you want, man, then it's, you ain't going to have no problem. You're going to get pussy every night. Who in the fuck want to get some pussy? You know, what I'm saying is you got to have a constitution that make you see this fine ass motherfucker pussy probably dripping and, and you got to pass that shit up. Bitch, please. Take that, wrap it up in some cut. So take it, wrap it up in some cat gut and go sell it. That's what you tell one of them bitches. Hey, you tell, that's what you, that's what you tell one of them bitches. And after you didn't sold enough of it, bitch, I'll fuck in it. You got to talk real nasty to one of them bitches. And they ain't going to do nothing but break that's down. They're going to break down that's like that's bitches that's do. And they ain't going to do nothing but be crazy about you because you broke them down. Everybody else go for that bullshit they talking. Then they run into a nigga like me, bitch, please. Wrap that shit up in some cat gun and go sell it. See how bad you really are. Cause, right what? Go ahead. No, that's you go. That's where you at right now. Okay, okay. I don't want to hear. I don't need no blow by blow, blow by blow, bro. All I'm saying is stand up, stand up on what the fuck you talking about. Period, and you'll have it. You, you'll catch any bitch. I don't give a fuck. You just talk about whatever it is you believe in and stand up. She gonna like you, especially a bitch, especially a bitch with with wit something already. Think about it, man. Every every time you see a movie, every even in real life, you see bitches in pocket that then chose in your mind some loser ass motherfucker to fuck with. How did that motherfucker get her? By just talking to her, and he didn't even know he was gonna get her. When he did, the bitch just say, "Look, I don't want you to do this no more, and I'm gonna make sure you have this." And blah blah blah. And the nigga said, "Okay, <laughs> I ain't mad at the nigga." 
you could do the same thing is what I'm saying. All right, man, let me go. I got something to do. Okay, now. See, I would even be willing to start a citizen-run community center. I remember when I grew up in the crest, we had a community center. It was a house on the corner of Gateway and Griffin. And it was converted into a, a community center. And, you know, the kids came there to get help with schoolwork or, or, or simply to hang out in a safe environment for a few hours or simply to get away from home. But the good thing about it, it was run by the community. It was a community project and people from the community opened and closed it every day. Now, I don't know what it should be, but I do know it should be something done to reach these young motherfuckers before life chews them up and spit them out. Now, I was talking to this dude, not about this, but I had been talking to this motherfucker for a few minutes, maybe 10 minutes, when that motherfucker said, <laughs> you're a selfish Full of yourself, conceited bastard, Rosebud. <laughs> I looked at that motherfucker, and then I looked around and seen a, a napkin. I went and got it and, and handed it to that motherfucker. And I, <laughs> shit, man. I handed him that shit. I said, man, you better wipe your glasses off. Because I thought you could see that shit when we started talking. Fool. That motherfucker, he was misunderstanding me, but he was getting my point. Uh, I'm not arrogant because I'm not just talking shit to be talking it because I can talk it. I'm talking shit telling you about me. I'm just saying motherfuckers be misunderstanding me. And I know I scream pimp this, pimp that, and, and most I do that most of the time. And, and I'm hard or rough or whatever the fuck you want to call it. I'm that way because that's who I am. I ain't trying to be nobody else. I couldn't scream out to you shit about being a fucking welder. And I couldn't tell you shit about how to, what burn is best or what degree. I, I don't know what the fuck to use to be no damn welder. That would be like a, a football player trying to explain a crossover move to some motherfucker. A football player don't know nothing about no crossover. If he do, he only know what he know. He can't tell it to you so you can really know it. He's an athlete, but he played football. Do you think a basketball player can tell your ass how to withstand a middle back's hit he's about to put on your fucking ass? <laughs> so, uh, I know the ins and outs of my abadab. But not all, I mean, I know the ins and outs, but not the intricacies of all of it. Fucking with this Abba period. You're just going to learn all kind of goddamn shit. If you're fucking with them paper motherfuckers, you're going to, your bitch going to be a front bitch, and you're going to be visiting that bitch in the pen, because she's going to get caught. And that motherfucking bitches know that shit, they want to fuck with that shit. And they do it for years and years before they get caught. They didn't hit damn near lick. So, for the record, I respect each and every aspect of this motherfucking apple dabble. But I can't for mine. Now, this has been a long growth period, my third actually. During my second growth period, I, I, I grew to understand helping people. You know, I've been wanting to help my neighbors, my black neighbors especially. You know, I go fair, you know, with whoever my neighbor is. You know, no race distinction involved. But if I keep winning this year, I'm going to look into doing something for black motherfuckers. I'm not that it's going to be a big deal. But it's going to be something in my little hood. You know, these motherfuckers need help. I may even get a home base 
the sidewalk university and and have part of it as not a daycare but a like that community center thing i was talking about it's all just ideas now but i'm going hard on this fucking shit sw is too valuable to stop where i am now this is too valuable when you the way i am it's like you're in a perpetual state of thinking. And this, my friends, is tiring. I mean, you don't realize it, but you can shut down whenever you want to. I just can't. So when it comes to my me time, it's the time <laughs> I really don't get to do any of that, but guess what? That's why I really don't care about me time, but I try my damnness to get some. I really do. Because it's damn near impossible for me to stop thinking about what I need to do. That's the only thing that's fucked up about being like me. You're going to have these suitcases under your eyes because you can't fucking sleep. You're thinking too much. I hate that. I'm always working on something. And I be coming up short. Ain't that a bitch? Well, no, it's not a bitch. It's life. And I'm living it. With all the fucking ups and downs until they throw the last shovel of dirt on my motherfucking hands. Now, that's how I feel. I just feel that way. I'm going to do me all the way. I'm going hard, doing bud. I would really look silly going hard trying to do you, wouldn't I? <laughs> you mother, that's what you motherfuckers be to. <laughs> you motherfuckers be going hard trying to do what somebody else do. Or be like, oh, man, come on, man. You need to think of what the fuck you think of. But no matter what you think of, some motherfucker doing it way better than you. You can't think of shit new to do. You can only think of whatever you think of. And if it's new to you, it's new to you. Do it like it's brand new and you'll win. But believe me, it ain't going to be brand new. What I'm saying is, is I used to fuck with Facebook a lot, you know, and I, I had respect for it in a way. But it was no rules. And people would just come on my page and just say crazy shit. And then I would say whatever philosophical bullshit that I'm saying. Some motherfucker would disagree and have all this bullshit to say. And, and then I want motherfucker, come on my show. Let's say some shit like that. They never would come on the show. And I'm just saying, I lost respect for it because of that. So I don't be on Facebook no more. 323, what's up? <coughs> hey, bud, well, what's good? Nothing was good with you. Hey, I had a question. <coughs> Come on. Hey, hey, it's all good over here, man. All right. Buying a complex for the loan versus buying it with the Sidewalk University uh, tuition, what's really the difference? Wait a minute, buying what? Uh, the for alone on your, on your website. Okay, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Listen, the, the, yeah. and you asked the difference between buying the course alone and going to SWU. Right? Exactly. Okay, the difference. Exactly, yeah. Listen, the difference is this. If you just get the course, you're going to get something from it. But I'm gonna, this is an example. Let's say you get the course yourself. And there's 10 things to get out of this particular part of the course. And you don't know any of them. But during your time taking this part of the course, you can see that you have three things you can tangibly touch. And it's blowing your mind because you never had this shit before. And you would be totally happy with that. 
But me, fuck that. That's only 30% of what you need. You got to get 100% of what you need. And that's what you get in Sidewalk okay. University. The 100%. I ain't letting you go soft. No, fool. You got to do it like this, man, if you really want to do it. You know, you can't give me no part of the assignment. You can't give me no excuse. I don't want to hear it. You know why? Hey, I, I, I went I went to school online, and I got straight fucking A's. And I show them that once I tell them that. I show them because I kept that, that report card. But I did that not for a report card, for fucking four years straight. And what I'm saying is, can't no motherfucker tell me about what you can or cannot do online in school. You can only tell me what the fuck you will do. And I know what can be done. And the reason I'm really saying this is because I wasn't even a studious type person. I had just, you know, realized I could get some money doing this. So I went to school to get the money. But then the first, rep the first, not report card, the first, uh, Grading, whatever, it wasn't a report card, but it was something. And I had a, a 3.79. 4.0 is straight A's. But I'm thinking I'm going to get straight A's because everything is in the book. And when you take tests, you got the book right with you. So I know goddamn well I'm going to get a fucking A. But I didn't because I wasn't doing some things. My answers was right, but I wasn't being a student. A student in higher education is supposed to show the professor that not only do they know the correct answer, they use the correct answer to come up with different things to say. That they back exactly. up. They back this shit up by citing information that they learned in that particular class. Now, when you answer a question like that, shit. It could be actually the opposite answer of what the fucking book said. Otherwise, the book said you. Uh, first, let me ask you this. You walking down the street. Yeah. And you hear some bitch scream. And you look over and you see this bitch tussling with a dude. What would you do? Oh, I'm going to intervene. I'm going to intervene. Check this out. That's what every motherfucking packer would have said in the group. In my class, I said, I ain't intervening because you have to be selfish in life and you cannot put yourself in danger. How do you know this bitch didn't steal none from him and he caught her? How do you know what the fuck happened? Why would you assume you need to save this bitch's life when this bitch could be foul as fuck? I'm not saying she's supposed to get her ass whooped. I ain't saying he supposed to beat her ass. But what if he pull a gun out and shoot me because I came over there to intervene? Nah, yeah. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. I feel that. I've said this world is real. This world is not a joke. And you have to make split decisions. Period. That bitch, I would say, if I was walking by and seeing this, I'd say, damn, that nigga, he fucking that bitch up. Man, she must have did. I keep walking. I ain't got no bullet wounds. I ain't got no fucking stab wounds. The only scar I got on is when I had an operation. That's because I, I, I stay my ass in my lane. The only way I'm coming, the only way I'm showing up is if you in my lane fucking with me. Exactly. And, and I ain't finna... You and Sean Tate being consistent on saying that. Y'all being hella consistent on saying, hey, use your head. Every time you go outside, be a thinking man. That's what had me so interested in uh, Sidewalk University. I just wanted to check game real quick on this, but I right. was in there folding my clothes. Hey, hey, baby was in there folding my clothes. And she said, damn, I just noticed you ain't got no jeans. I said, yeah, baby, that's working man clothes. I don't wear jeans. <laughs> I've been listening to Chante and Rosebud for a year. I, I don't wear this. I don't do that no more. That's old man. <laughs> hey, like I'm a dice shooter or some shit. I don't shoot no fucking dice. Huh? I wear, you know, I wear my casual shit. Hey man, hey man, love talking to you, man. Good, good. Yeah.
your shit cool, bro. Hey, I got some more shit. I got to finish it, though. Uh, check this out. See, what I'm saying is I, I accept the ups and downs in life plus the ones that's associated with the way I chose to live life because life gives you some ups and downs. Period, no matter what you do. But what you choose to do as a profession has its own set of ups and downs, too. You can't choose some of them. You're going to have to take them all. And I did. So what I'm saying is all of the good things that happened to me didn't happen alone. It wasn't just good shit. It was mixed in with the bad shit. But what I do and what I've done is bounce back without tripping. Because I have had a woman paying me thousands with no problems. And I'm fucking the shit out of this bitch. This bitch is up living whatever, high on the hog and shit. And I come in one day and look like the whirlwind and a tornado that had been in there. God damn. I look around. Shit, what the fuck is this bitch got this house nasty and a motherfucker? And I go to the room. I don't really see her shit. Go to the bathroom. Ain't no bitch shit in there. The bitch then broke. She didn't left a nigga. Go look for where my money used to be. Some money there, but it ain't. I know it ain't the money I supposed to have. So I figured, man, this crazy motherfucker then ran off. <laughs> and you know what I say to myself? Ignorant ass bitch. Man, I want to pimp on her some more. But I'm like, I'm out the door at another. Because what I'm saying is I can't figure, I ain't finna waste my time trying to wonder why you left. Fuck you. You didn't left. That's good enough for me. You didn't left, bitch. What you want me to do, trip? You crazy motherfucker. The only thing I could do is say good riddance because you look better going than you did coming. Because when you was coming, I was wondering if your motherfucking ass was going to pay me. But seeing you leave, shit, I know I got paid. <laughs> shit. Hm. I ain't been the trip. I ain't got no fucking time, nor do I want to engage in the shit that be going on. I don't want to engage in the shit that I was doing on that Facebook platform. I don't want to engage uh, 561. What's up? Yeah, man, what's up? Yeah, barely, man. What's wrong with your... Man, you talking on the speaker? Get off of that shit, man. Yes, now go ahead.
Hey man, what I'm saying is this. You say, babe, uh, I, I, let's go to dinner. I want to go to the Outback. And she say, no, let's go to the Olive Garden. And you say, okay, let's go to the Olive Garden. Man, I would say, bitch, I'm going to the Outback. You can go to the Olive Garden. Now, I don't do that all the time. But I will do that because broads don't want to do what you suggest. They do that on purpose. But that's when you got a broad and she's been with you for a while. So what I'm saying, you got to know this shit, man. All right. You know it. So, what I'm saying is this, man. I got a lot of shit from Facebook. I I, I learned how to deal, apply my wares on the internet. What I'm saying, I you know noticed because I still go on there sometimes. I just don't fuck with it. You know, the, the posts are a little different. People be philosophical. And, and some of them be serious, some of them not, which is kind of was like that before. But what's strange is some of the things be coming from motherfuckers I know as fools from past interaction with them. Yet they post be making sense. So what I'm saying, that's one thing about philosophy. We all have our opinions. And I guess theirs is as good as anyone else's. And I enjoy reading them fucking uh, posts, e- even from the fools. I-, I guess fools are only fools when they're acting foolish. <laughs> when you fucking step off into this abadabra, you better be down. Because cause this shit has a way of not hurting you physically, but hurting you when you ain't really there. If you are, when when you're done, you're going to receive, you know, whatever crown for being down. It's an ongoing battle once you fucking decide to be down. This never stops. And, And the accolades are many. But when it's all said and done, How the fuck do you think you feel? I mean, I have people that I know who didn't make the right moves. You know, they was down, had money, buying cars, all of the shit, but that ain't what it's about. And those motherfuckers remember the game with malice. Just as I know motherfuckers that did all the right things and simply treasure their memories of the game. Pimps and hoes. I think it's fair to say memories for you guys, for most of you guys, are a long way off. Just don't forget along the way they don't have to be pleasant. You better be prepared for some bad memories. Not that I have any, but I was prepared for them. That's why I made sure I didn't make no mistakes because I was always thinking. Always. You got to understand you all will have memories at one point, but you have to be, if that's the case, old enough to have memories. Those memories will help you live the rest of your fucking life and age gracefully. And those memories will help promote how you think. That's unless you wasn't down. Now, in that case, you're going to be like many, many motherfucking ex pimps that I know, pimps and hoes that are mad at the fucking world. This abadabra ain't no joke. It ain't. That's why you should dream and you should dream big. Everybody should strive to achieve their dreams. You ain't going to achieve shit unless you can see yourself getting it. 
I see myself getting it. I strove to become great in an arena where the majority of motherfuckers fail to do to do anything in. This don't make me better than you or any motherfucking body else. I don't even want to be better than you or any motherfucking body else. I want to be looked upon as a person with an extreme amount of tenacity. Tenacity, that word is, you know, not used very often. It means uh, stand with, you know, stand power. You ain't quitting. You know, keep going at it until you win. This is not used in our uh, conversations very often because it's just not an everyday fucking word. But that word can be applied to things I do every single day. And any word, I could break it down. Like, I'm going to show you something, man, because if you spell the word tenacity out, you can see why it's so important. Now, what I do is spell the word tenacity out and I fucking, each letter in it, I make it stands for something about me. T is for the truth. The truth that I spit. E is for the effort. The effort that I put in to making motherfuckers see what I'm talking about. N is for never. I ain't never giving up. A is for allows. Being this way allows me to live comfortably in my own skin, not pretending to be anyone except Bud. C is for curious because I got a curiosity that can't be satisfied. I want to know. I do. The I is for intelligence. My intelligence level is quite high, period. The T is for two, not this two, two, coming to, because everything is coming to me based on me having these words for tenacity. And the Y is for yield. I, I slow down, but I don't stop. <laughs> My dream is only now beginning. Yesterday I sent uh, in the money for some SWU gear, and I got emotional. I, I still can't believe that I started this shit in record time, and I'm certain it could have not been done without the help and direction of the man upstairs. I do know there is someone. So I pray that he sees fit for me to continue and complete my destiny to help you guys win. Oh, man, I'm not talking to you. Hey, private number. I know you're a punk, but I got to give you a chance. What's up? I just want to tell you all that I miss y'all and Steve the Dean. You guys were a great team, my Thank you, man. I'm glad I gave you a chance. Usually people that got them private numbers be talking crazy shit. But I'm just saying, in the next 15 months, we, we going to see something. If I indeed have the tenacity to continue on this and, and maintain my forward direction, I will then really accept that I am truly an exceptional man who have been graced with God's presence and blessed with his guidance. We're fucking able to do what we do because we gained up. The real ones there, wherever we at, they gonna recognize. And sure enough, nigga get to that Midwest and you meet real niggas like Sly Ryan or, or Mr. G or Snotty Whiplash. And then you go further east, you meet Ballhead Skip. 
methodical million and thousand other real motherfuckers. This is not a closed off society. There's hella motherfuckers in this society. And all of them motherfuckers. Son, so I'm doing a show, man. I got to call you back. Uh, God damn, who the fuck is that? Oh, you cancel that. I think I did that by accident. Uh, oh, anyway. <laughs> Where the fuck? What I'm saying, you guys, I'm just blessed. I'm blessed as fuck. I've been blessed. I fucking goddamn. I'm going to stay blessed. You know why? Because I stayed there. I, I stayed with it. You know, when I had hoes, you know what I'm saying? I did what I was supposed to do. Now that I ain't got no fucking hoes, I'm still doing what I was supposed to do. And in doing that, I'm just taking care of myself. I'm making myself stay young, hopefully healthy. Uh, I ain't really, really, really got no bad habits. I, I smoke too much, and I know I smoke too much weed, but I mean, shit. I don't man, want them to take me out. But shit, like I'm gonna stop doing them. I ain't finna stop doing a motherfucking thing. I just ain't. Why do I need to stop? <laughs> I don't need to stop. I know that fucking shit. All right, you guys. Uh, Goddamn, where the fuck am I? What is going on? Hmm. All right, y'all. I'm finna go. And I had a good time today because y'all was asking hella questions. That's what I like. All right, I'm gone. Thank you for using Blog Talk Radio. Uh, Goodbye. Shut up. All right, y'all, on, on StreamYard, I'm gone.